In one of the most unexpected scientific discoveries of the century, marine biologists have uncovered something that defies everything we thought we knew about bats off the wild and windswept shores of Oregon. This isn't just another species cataloged into our ever-growing library of biodiversity. This is a bat like no other, one that lives not in forests or caves, but along the ocean's edge, one that hunts fish instead of insects, and one that has been hiding in plain sight for perhaps thousands of years. Welcome to the story of Lazyurus oregonensis giganteus, the giant coastal bat of Oregon. It all began during a routine marine mammal survey near Cannon Beach, Oregon. Researchers were tracking seals and sea lions when they noticed something unusual, an enormous bat soaring low over the surf, its wingspan stretching nearly four feet across. At first, many dismissed it as a trick of the light, or perhaps a misidentified seabird. But then came the photographs, then came more sightings, then came the evidence that could no longer be ignored. What they had found was unlike any bat ever recorded, larger than any known species in North America. This creature didn't just fly. It hunted over open water, diving like a falcon to snatch prey from the ocean surface. And so began the quest to understand this mysterious new species. Preliminary observations suggest this bat species displays physical adaptations never before seen in any chiropteran or bat species. Researchers have temporarily classified it as Lazyurus oregonensis giganteus, though formal taxonomic designation awaits further study. Let's take a closer look. Measuring approximately 1.2 meters in wingspan, nearly three times larger than the common North American hoary bat, this creature is a true giant among bats. Its fur appears waterproof, with a distinctive silver gray coloration on its back, transitioning to a lighter cream underbelly. Perhaps most striking are the enlarged rear feet with semi-web structures, features that may assist with surface swimming or snatching prey from water. Tissue samples collected from molted fur indicate genetic markers consistent with the Vespertianidae family, but with significant adaptations that suggest either rapid evolution or a previously undiscovered evolutionary branch. These features raise intriguing questions. How did such a species evolve? Why haven't we seen them before? And how have they survived in a habitat where no bat has been documented living permanently? Unlike traditional bat species that typically roost in caves, trees, or human structures, these giant bat appear to have established roosting sites in the sea caves and cliff formations along Oregon's rugged coastline. Primary observation areas include the basalt formations near Ecola State Park and the remote sea caves south of Cape Perpetua. Marine biologists have documented small colonies ranging from 20 30 individuals with evidence suggesting their range may extend from Northern California to the Southern Washington coast. The Pacific Northwest's unique combination of abundant sea caves, moderate coastal temperatures, and rich marine ecosystems appears to provide an ideal habitat for this unusual species. Researchers believe the coastal fog provides additional protection from predators and helps maintain the humidity levels these bats seem to prefer. This new habitat preference marks a dramatic shift in bat behavior. Most bat species rely on terrestrial shelters like forests or cave systems. But here, we see a species thriving in an entirely different biome, one that offers both shelter and sustenance in equal measure. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of these giant bats is their feeding behavior. While traditional bats primarily consume insects or, in some tropical species, fruits and nectar, the Oregon coastal bat demonstrates a remarkable preference for small fish and crustaceans. Using specialized echolocation adapted for detecting movement beneath water surfaces, these bats have been observed diving from heights of up to 10 meters to snatch small fish, particularly anchovies and smelt. Analysis of guano samples reveals a diet consisting of approximately 65% fish, 25% crustaceans, 10% large flying insects. This marine-focused diet represents a significant evolutionary departure from typical bat feeding patterns and may explain their coastal habitat preference. Scientists are particularly interested in understanding how their digestive systems have adapted to process the high salt content of their marine prey. Studying this dietary shift is crucial, not only for understanding the biology of this particular species, but also for gaining insights into how mammals can adapt to exploit marine resources. The discovery has ignited debate among evolutionary biologists regarding the origins of this unique species. 
The leading theory suggests they may be an offshoot of the hoary bat that gradually adapted to coastal environments, potentially during periods of inland habitat pressure or food scarcity. An alternative hypothesis proposes they may represent a relict population of a previously undocumented bat lineage that evolved coastal adaptations during the Pleistocene era. Preliminary genetic analysis indicates divergence from mainland bat populations occurred approximately 80,000, 120,000 years ago, coinciding with significant climate shifts along the Pacific coast. Scientists are conducting further genetic studies to determine whether this represents a case of convergent evolution with marine mammals or a unique evolutionary pathway. If the species did indeed diverge tens of thousands of years ago, it would mean that humans have lived alongside these creatures for millennia without documenting their existence. That raises profound questions about what other species might still remain hidden in plain sight, especially in transitional zones between land and sea. Researchers have documented specialized echolocation patterns unique to these coastal bats. While traditional bat echolocation typically operates between 20 and 200 kilohertz, spectrographic analysis of these giant bats reveals they produce lower frequency calls between 15 and 35 kilohertz with distinctive modulation patterns that appear optimized for detecting movement beneath water surfaces. Additionally, these bats exhibit a unique double pulse echolocation pattern when hunting over water emitting an initial pulse that penetrates the water surface followed by a secondary pulse that seems calibrated to detect movement responses. This sophisticated echolocation system allows them to locate fish swimming up to one meter below the surface, providing a significant hunting advantage in their marine environment. Researchers from Oregon State University's Marine Mammal Institute are conducting further studies to understand how these echolocation signals interact with water surfaces and penetrate the marine environment. This research could lead to breakthroughs in bioacoustics, offering new ways to study underwater animal behavior using non-invasive techniques. Observation of these bat colonies reveals complex social structures and reproductive behaviors adapted to their coastal environment. The bats appear to live in matriarchal colonies of 20, 30 individuals, with dominant female coordinating roosting and hunting activities. Unlike most bat species that produce one offspring annually, Females of this coastal species appear to have smaller litters, but reproduce twice annually, likely an adaptation to the year-round food availability in their marine environment. Pups develop rapidly, reaching flight capability within four, five weeks, and young females remain with their birth colony, while males typically disperse to adjacent colonies upon reaching maturity. Researchers have also documented elaborate courtship displays, where males perform complex aerial maneuvers over water surfaces, possibly demonstrating their hunting prowess to potential mates. These social structures and reproductive patterns represent significant adaptations from traditional bat behaviors. Understanding the reproductive strategies of this species is vital for future conservation efforts. With such a small population size and limited geographic range, protecting breeding sites and ensuring genetic diversity will be key to their survival. The discovery of this unique bat species raises immediate conservation concerns. With an estimated total population of fewer than 2,000 individuals confined to a limited coastal range, the species is inherently vulnerable to habitat disruption, climate change, and ocean pollution. A particular concern is their reliance on specific coastal cave formations that could be threatened by erosion, development, or increased human recreational activity. Additionally, their marine-focused diet makes them susceptible to bioaccumulation of toxins and microplastics increasingly present in marine food chains. The Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife has already initiated preliminary conservation measures while more comprehensive protection plan is developed. Scientists emphasize that protecting this unique species requires preserving both their roosting habitats and the health of the nearshore marine ecosystems they depend on for food. Conservationists are calling for strict protections around key roosting sites and restrictions on human access during critical breeding seasons. There are also discussions about creating protected marine zones that encompass both the sea caves and the surrounding waters where the bats hunt. Studying these elusive coastal bats presents unique research challenges. Their preference for remote sea caves, nocturnal hunting patterns, and sensitivity to human presence make direct observation difficult. Researchers have implemented innovative study methods including 
Specialized infrared cameras mounted near roosting sites passive acoustic monitoring stations to record echolocation pattern satellite tracking devices designed to be minimally invasive marine biologists have also deployed underwater microphones to capture the sound of bat strikes on water surfaces and correlate these with feeding behaviors. Despite these advanced techniques, researchers estimate they have documented less than 30% of the behaviors and adaptations of the species, highlighting the significant knowledge gaps that remain. One of the biggest challenges lies in studying the bat's underwater hunting techniques. Because they dive into the ocean to catch fish, traditional wildlife observation tools are insufficient. Researchers are now experimenting with drone-mounted sonar and thermal imaging to track their movement above and below the waterline. A question perplexing the scientific community is how such a distinctive species could remain undocumented until now. Several factors likely contributed to their long-term obscurity. First, their nocturnal nature and preference for remote, difficult to access, sea caves limited potential human encounters. Second, their physical similarity when observed at a distance to seabirds like cormorants may have led to misidentification by casual observers. Third, traditional bat researchers typically focus on inland habitats rather than coastal environments, creating a research blind spot. Finally, Local indigenous knowledge suggests awareness of these creatures, with Tillamook and Silich tribal stories referencing sea wings or fish hunters of the night, indicating the species may have been known to native populations but not formally documented by Western science. We've always known they were there. We call them sky fishers. They belong to the ocean and the sky. This discovery underscores how even in well-studied regions, significant biological discoveries remain possible especially in transitional ecosystems between land and sea. It also highlights the importance of integrating indigenous ecological knowledge into modern scientific frameworks. The discovery of the Oregon coastal bat represents one of the most significant mammalian findings in North America in decades. It challenges established understanding of chiropteran evolution and adaptation capacities, potentially providing valuable insights into how mammals can adapt to marine environments. Researchers have outlined several priority research directions, including comprehensive genetic analysis to determine evolutionary relationships, detailed mapping of population distribution studies of physiological adaptations for saltwater tolerance investigation of potential climate change impacts on their habitat international research cooperation has already begun with bat specialists from Australia, Mexico, and South Africa joining the research effort to provide comparative expertise from coastal bat populations in other regions. The scientific community anticipates that studying these bats may yield insights applicable to conservation efforts for other specialized species facing habitat pressures from climate change and human activity. Future missions will involve deep sea dives to observe underwater hunting behavior, DNA sequencing to map out the species full genome, and behavioral experiments to understand their communication systems. The goal is to build a complete picture of this species, from its physiology to its ecology, and use that knowledge to guide conservation policy. The discovery has ignited considerable public interest. The Oregon Coast Aquarium has developed an educational exhibit about the species that uses models and video footage to avoid disturbing actual populations. Local conservation groups have organized limited, responsible viewing opportunities during evening hours when the bats begin their hunting activities with strict guidelines to prevent habitat disruption. Educational materials emphasize the unique evolutionary story these bats represent and their importance to the coastal ecosystem. Several documentary filmmakers have already begun projects focusing on this discovery, working closely with researchers to ensure their activities don't negatively impact the bats. University programs in marine biology and wildlife management across the Pacific Northwest have also developed specialized courses and research opportunities focused on this unique species. School curricula are being updated to include information about the Oregon coastal bat, inspiring a new generation of scientists and conservationists. Citizen science initiatives are also underway, encouraging members of the public to report sightings and contribute data through mobile apps and online platforms. The discovery of the giant Oregon coastal bat stands as a profound reminder that significant biological discoveries await even in regions we consider well explored. This finding challenges our understanding of bat evolution, habitat adaptations, 
and the potential for mammals to develop specialized marine hunting strategies. As research continues, the scientific community anticipates that these bats will provide valuable insights into how species adapt to occupy unique ecological niches, potentially informing conservation strategies for other species facing environmental pressures. Perhaps most importantly, this discovery reminds us to approach our natural world with humility and wonder, recognizing that many of Earth's most remarkable creatures and evolutionary stories remain undiscovered or incompletely understood. The Oregon coastal bat exemplifies nature's boundless capacity to surprise us, even in our own backyard. So next time you walk along the beach at dusk, look up, you might just glimpse the silhouette of something extraordinary, a creature that defies expectation, thrives in mystery, and reminds us that the wild is still wild. Thank you for watching.